Hi YouTube! So I almost did my next DIY without you. I don't know, sometimes I get in the mood and then I start doing something and you know, I don't always think that there is a camera which has to be turned on. So however, I put this flower pot I guess, I don't know, uh, the Dollar Tree and I'm making decoration more like oldish and brown and you know, but this one will go in one of my windows, so I wanted a little bit <laughs> of color too. <laughs> so I bought this crafter's foam, I guess. I cut it a little bit, as you can see, so it fits in there. And I stuck a couple of the flowers already. This was like one of those from the Dollar Tree. And I picked the one I liked, <laughs> and I like this pink one. I don't know, it was just so full. And if you want to do this, you need to like make sure that you stick it at so it's not visible you see when i stick it like this you cannot see in if you like stick it too high you will be able to see the stamps and everything and i really don't want this and i also bought the white flowers at the dollar tree and i want them to go in the middle and be a little bit higher then my pink ones. You see I have holes here already because I was looking already how to stick them in. <laughs> and then I remembered that there is YouTube <laughs> and maybe somebody wants to do the same thing. You know, so I took them out just to show you. You know, just to stick them back in I guess. <laughs> so you can see, I don't know. I just wanted to share. So, I'm going to be putting them all back in here. So, I want them to be like a little bit higher, if you can see what I mean. I think, I'm not sure, when this whole flower floral stuff goes on sale at Michael's it might be even cheaper I never actually looked for it maybe I should but I don't really or I did not do any DIYs yet with floral at least I think so so I'm gonna I'm gonna keep like looking for that. <laughs> the next time I go to Michael's I will be like on the lookout and I want to see if the floral is better because the floral at Dollar Tree it's not really that much on one and I don't know how I feel about spending a dollar on that. I think it could be cheaper so this is what I do have for now. I will zoom it out a little later so this is how it's going to go and I also want to do it all, you know, the way in the back because it's going to be in the window and then what? Somebody looks from the outside and there is nothing or I look from the inside and there is nothing. So I got to do it from all sides, right? I will just clip them off the stamps. And the Dollar Tree wire cutter works but it only works when I do it like on a certain spot. <laughs> I don't know. So I have to push them to the certain spot. I was thinking about putting a mark on it so I know where. <laughs> and then it works. So I will do just the same thing. Putting them, you know, like deep in there. Spreading them a little bit just so I cannot. I really don't want to be looking at my foam or anything like that. So just like this from the other side also. And it could be enough. I don't know. I want to see if it's going to be enough like that. Because I do like the pink and white combination, kind of. I don't know if I want to put more flowers in there. You know, I bought this purple ones also. And I seriously don't know if I want them to be in there. 
because I kind of do like the white and pink. You know, I decided to not to put anything in there because it is as good as it is. So the pot is not too big. I was looking back and forth and I really like it this way. So to, you know, fill up the inside, I'm going to be using a little bit of moss. So if it happens and somebody looks like in and sees something, <laughs> I'd rather it to be something green. So we'll just like get a handful and try to push it like around in between of my stamps and everywhere so I get everything. I'd rather have too much moss than not enough. <laughs> you know, I want to really make sure that I cover up everything. So just like this. And if it really happens and somebody like looks from the upper part, I don't know if you can see it, all they are going to see is green. So, I like it. I mean, I, I've never had, <laughs> like, I don't know, something like that, but real flowers just don't grow in my house. <laughs> yeah, I'm sorry to say that, but I don't have, like, I don't know. I just don't have it. it they don't want to grow. They die. And I don't want the flowers to die. So I will just put this into my window. Let me see if I can zoom it out. It doesn't go further. But I guess you get the picture. So this is how it's going to look like. I think it's cute. I will just put it into my window like I said. I'll clean it up from, you know, <laughs> from the moss right here. And you can go ahead and stick something in there. I don't know if you have like a leftover egg, you can make it like Easter, <laughs> Easter time, <laughs> you know. <laughs> I have like the two eggs right here right now, like this, a couple more eggs or whatever. <laughs> So, you know, yeah, then it's an Easter DIY and not only a spring DIY, you see. All right, hope you liked it. I will have a picture of that on Instagram so you can see it better, but it turned out really cute. And those are my like short DIYs, right? So for people who doesn't want to spend time like ours to make something this is for you all right i think it looks good and i'm going to put it into my window right now so i know it's very dark here but i wanted to show you where i put that oh and the sun is coming right there so this is right next to my door we have this little window here and i wanted to put something in there and this just fits perfectly so and it's it looks good from both sides, so from the inside and the outside. I was happy that they had at the Dollar Tree. See, it's at both sides. So I was happy about that. It's very lightweight, so if it falls down, it's all right. <laughs> you know, and it looks good. Just wanted to show you where it goes in my house. I hope you enjoyed this. Give me a thumbs up if you did. Subscribe, comment, you know. Follow me on Instagram and Facebook as always and Yes, my PO box has changed said it like a thousand times already So the new one is in the description. I'm just afraid that somebody sends me something You know to my old address and I really don't want like people To waste their stuff because I will never get it and that would be really sad so yes I hope you enjoyed that and I hope you have a great day and I see you for the next video. Bye bye.